Today we're using the Sony AS300 to record our video. We've got the audio for the Sony AS300. And we're also using the iPhone to record the audio for my lavalier mic, which I've got hidden in my scarf. I think the audio is going to be much better in here versus the Sony. Since I don't have any kind of uh, windshield, I will eventually. But we're going to go out to some street photography. I'm thinking the theme of people. We did that the other day, and I think those photos too are really good. So we're going to see what we get today. I was watching a video from a small YouTuber you might know of called Pierre T. Lambert. And he had some tips for shy photographers. One being to shoot people from a distance. I like that one a lot as an introverted person. Then the next step, the next level up from that was to get closer to subjects but not of their faces. Otherwise I think we're good to go. and good to go out and take some photos. So without further ado, I'm going to put that camera onto here and let's go. By the way, how's the audio? How's the difference between the AS300 and the lavalier mic and the iPhone, which I'm using to record audio? I'm thinking iPhone with lavalier inside the scarf is going to be much better. I would love to know. How's the Sony AS300 doing in comparison? And can you hear me over this traffic? Which is what I'm wondering. I suppose what we should do is do a camera check. Hey guys, how are you doing? Hello, hello, hello. Now, what have we got our settings on? It looks very bright. Uh, this was got in movie mode. I was doing some video recording the other day, which should be in a video for you guys to watch. But um, I'm going to switch it into, hmm, what should we do today? Manual? Yeah, I think we'll go with manual mode today. Uh, we'll change our display. So we are looking very overexposed. Uh, I'm going to change my shutter speed. One thing that Pierre mentioned in his YouTube video was a technique where you, um, well, what do you call it, ninja mode, or stealth mode. Okay, so he suggested, just like put your camera away back, which would work really well for this camera since it's so big, stands out a mile away. Well, this does as well. I wish they would come out with a newer version of this but go with the GoPro shape where it's flat. They could probably do that looking at the design of this, a matte color black and then just turn it sideways with the lens sticking out from the middle and that'll be a, a great upgrade I reckon. So this was one of the techniques that Pierre mentioned, just holding your camera this way uh, which doesn't really work for POV since you can't see what I'm taking photos of. So for me, I'm always going to have to hold it out like this for you guys to see what, I, what I'm shooting. It's like a shaft of light between these buildings. So right here, I can't quite tell what you guys can see, but we're, we've got this kind of balcony thing casting a shadow, and then there's a shaft of light and then shadow on the other side. So here it's someone right in the middle of it. That would be make for a really nice photo. So even here when I look at this you can you can kind of see it. Right. So I could wait here. Just checking behind me. I don't know if it's worth the wait. Now something about these buildings I've always liked. Like I think that's a great photo but it needs something else. Perhaps someone crossing the road here. I think the focal length is a bit too close. Maybe uh, like a 50 mil would be much better. Oh, how is that? Perfect. Okay, I didn't get the whole of the slide in. Oh, 
One thing that I really like about the one is we're using frame within a frame. One of my favourite composition techniques. Hmm. What I like about this is well, when we line it up, we've got a foreground element breaking up the scene. And then just the door. I think the door is really interesting. I'm using that as a framing device, so using frame within a frame again. Might be using that quite a bit today. Every day brings something new. So I walk the same streets, I'll alternate my path a little bit, but the weather might be different. Overcast today, bright and sunny tomorrow, might be raining the day after that. You'll encounter different people. So there will always be something different, something unique about your photo walk that day. Fourteen begins. 